train and the platform. Cultura Inglesa Radio. Radio. Hi, my name is Alex. You're listening to Cultura Inglesa Radio, the podcast that talks about English language through British music. At the moment, we're discussing um, British female singers, and to do so, I've got here with me four guests. They are Londoner musicians based in East London. Welcome back, guys. Uh, Ryan, if you could please introduce everyone. All right, well, my name is Ryan Brown. I'm a multi-instrumentalist um, from East London, and today I'm here with Kyle and Tony, my yeah. colleagues at CM University. And also Stephen is with us as well. He just left the room, but hopefully he'll be back soon. Thanks, guys. Thanks for your time. Good afternoon. Good morning. Good evening. On the first episode, we talked about Adele, and uh, on this second podcast. Uh, we're gonna discuss a little bit about any Lennox. So any Lennox uh, is from Aberdeen, Scotland, and uh, she got famous in the mid '80s with a when she was part of a duo called Eurythmics, and uh, they this hit that we just listened to is theirs and after that she's got a really strong solo career as well and um but can we say that she sounds british yeah it's, yeah, it's british. really british yeah uh, i don't think Stephen agrees really yeah. 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 no she, she doesn't sound she doesn't sound american I don't know, American blurred no, listening no, to her no, voice right. because what you're saying, no. she sounds English, but you're forgetting she's not English. Well, UK. No. She's Scottish. Yeah, she's, oh, and yeah. she doesn't sound Scottish. British. She yeah. sounds British. Yeah. So, Stephen, you think one wouldn't recognise that Annie Lennox is from the UK? I don't think. We're talking like, about her I think you're listening to the beat. Her That's what accent I think is to. no right. way got an English twang to it. Twang is a good word. T-W-A-N-G? But yeah, sorry, go ahead. Because we don't say, we don't talk like that. Though. Listen to it. But you can't know, it's just got a Britishness to it. Like. Yeah, it has. I think it has. It's subversive, man. Yeah, it's, it's each universal. One's, to me personally, if, you, if I listen to Annie Lennox, I think she's a UK artist. She doesn't sound, I don't put her in, I don't really know of any American artists what deliver a vocal yeah. like that. Yeah. I suppose in that bit, I can hear you. Yeah. You know, it's, it's about how she's yeah. sort of I can hear delivering that. herself <coughs> like, you know, she's, she's UK. Yeah. <laughs> so, so Stephen, you've come around? On, yeah. the, on the hook, Sweet Dreams are made of these. Yeah, she does sound quite English. Yeah. More English than Scottish. Yeah. <laughs> I think that it's a brilliant song, man. I think it blurs. Like, I just said this, but you guys were talking. There's a tra- there's an accent called the transatlantic accent, which yeah. was used <coughs> mainly. For- let's let's talk about that. Can you turn down a little bit, man? It's, um, I think it was used for European television and things like that. And it was literally a mix of American and English. And it wasn't quite the American, like, wired sound. And uh, it wasn't quite the English direct, but it was just like this weird mix. And I feel like it may have actually stemmed from singing, like from that whole era of people singing. No, no, actually, it first appeared in America in the mid-30s and 40s. This is quite old. And um, they invented that. It's, this is quite fascinating, man. Uh, it's an accent that was invented. It doesn't belong to any place or country. And it's called transatlantic or mid-Atlantic because it's halfway between American and British. And um, it made you sound like you had a good education back in the day. So I reckon the American elite uh, reckoned it sounded universal. So it was a good accent to be used in theater and film. Um, that's why you would hear that type of accent in old Hollywood movies. And the most famous actress to use that, I think, is Catherine Hepburn. Let's listen to a, um, a clip of hers talking, and you'll see what I'm talking about. I know totally, for myself, the difference between right and wrong. Totally. Uh-huh. I know this because wrong makes me very uncomfortable and right makes me very happy. And I yeah. don't think it's so very difficult to know when you're doing the right thing and when you're doing the wrong thing. Wrong. And I think each person 
the right thing, the wrong thing varies. Very. <laughs> it's funny, when you listen to this type of accent, you are instantly thrown into the past, Definitely. right? Yeah. Um, yeah. That's because that accent uh, eventually disappeared. So it's very old and dated. Uh, I think after John Wayne, it was... It was cool to sound American, and they kind of dropped the uh, Britishness. Uh, but apparently because of American influence in music, we've got a new type of uh, mid-Atlantic accent here in the UK. It's more from this side, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I think the sound here is very exclusive to just us. Yeah, um, okay. yeah. yeah it's a UK thing. Yeah. I think there were a few American uh, artists, though, who tried to sound English. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is it Green Day? Green Day, I'm yeah. sure Green Day have made a couple of tracks, and I thought... They went, no, these no, Green Day don't sound, sound a bit. They don't sound old, old school at all. stuff. No, the no, older no. Green Day stuff, listen to it. It's, they're, trying to, punk, punk, they're trying to sound like punk. They put their own stand on it. Yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah, like, like it, it sounded like, like punk, but, but in terms of the vocals, it was very American because they have very thick American uh, an accent, so I think it would have put one in. I went to a drink to have my dreams. Yeah, you can. I don't know. They, you can tell that they they were influenced by Sex Pistols and, and the Clash and all these, but I think that's the extent of it. I, I don't think they they sound their vocals like are British at all. Yeah, yeah, great. So, isn't it? Yeah. But let's go back to the female British singers, guys, because um, next Couture English of Festival which takes place in Sao Paulo next month, features a tribute to British female singers. Oh, yes. I was sticking yes, right. to this subject for the next couple of podcasts. Stay tuned. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs>